dear brothers and sisters, yesterday we celebrated the solemnity of Christ the King, in which we have a more meaningful understanding of the kingdom and a king in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. And our gospel reading today continuously bring us to reflect to a kind of, of leadership, and this is the servant leadership that our Lord Jesus Christ offers. And the very story of the gospel reading today is all about the widow's mites. And this is out of her poverty, she has given everything to God in which we are being taught in our gospel reading today that our poverty should not excuse us because most often it has been an excuse when we are poor that we cannot give anything because we are poor. But the gospel reading today is an eye-opener that even in our poverty, we can also do something and even our poverty will be a source of great blessing. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in our gospel reading today, made use of the story of the widow's mites in comparison with those who can really give more. But Jesus said, he noticed that wealthy people putting their offerings into treasury and but he noticed a poor widow putting into small cars and said this poor widow put in more than all the rest for those others have all made offerings from the surplus wealth but she from her poverty has offered her full livelihood what a beautiful story that would inspire us that in fact the widow's might is reminding us that we can give even in our poverty. That in giving, it must be wholeheartedly. As in giving, it must be of humble heart. We are once again reminded, my dear brothers and sisters, the invitation of our Lord Jesus in our day-to-day -day life that is living the sense of care and love for each other genuinely, sincerely, and with great humility. Let us learn from the example of the widow that in, in fact we can give even amidst of our poverty. And our poverty is also a source of great blessing.